Hey, good morning, y'all. So guess what we're going to be working on today? We got a little toy drive. And I'm about to go check out with my brother, Shorty. Before we do that, we got to clean these white walls. And we got to put these wheels back on the Caprice. As you see right now, we're sitting in stock wheels. So I jacked it all the way up, man. That way I can take the skirts off and switch the tires. I got a video when we're mounting the tires. Um, I think I'm going to make this one as a continuation for that one. I said that I was going to be showing uh, after the car after the wheels was on. So, like I said, today we're going to a toy drive. I haven't pulled this car out in a while. As you can see, it's dusty. Yesterday we pulled out the glass house. Went to a toy drive uh, hosted by uh, Chevy Boys of Houston. Uh, we did good. The car did good. Um, we got a little uh, incident. Car almost caught on fire, man. I'm glad we were able to fix the problem. The small problem almost, almost cost me my whole car, man. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to do a video on that later. But uh, one thing that I got to let you know, man. If you ride in an old school... Nah, you know what? It doesn't even got to be an old school. If you're riding, period, man. If you're a rider, you always need to carry tools, man. I only got one toolbox, and I got two cars. So, last time I drove this car, I put the toolbox here. So, I got caught without tools from that one yesterday. Man, let me tell you this, man. Trying to find tools last minute when you're trying to fix your car on the side of the road. It's no bueno, man. So make sure you always carry a small toolbox with you, man. So what I've been saying, man, uh, let me jack up the car and uh, we're going to continue this video. All right, man, before we put these wheels on, the first thing we got to do is uh, clean up the white wall. As you can see, uh, as you can see we still got the bl uh, blue residue on the white wall. The reason why they do that is so they can protect the white wall. And it's going to get damaged if they stack them up on top of other tires. One of the things that I like, well, one of the products that I like using is bleach white, man. This one works really good for white walls. Um, so if you're wearing white walls, man, I recommend you to get you some of that. Always, man, always keep them clean. Don't, be, don't, don't get caught, man, riding white walls all dirty, man. That's not what you're supposed to do. So with that being said, man. Let's wash these tires, man, and let it, let's get them clean. Man, let me see if you can, I don't know if you can see, but this is what I love about white walls, man. This look, super clean, man. Um, Another thing, I don't have it on me right now, but it's a special uh, chemical that you use to clean your uh, gold-plated uh, wheels, man. You do not use the same uh, as your chrome because you damage the color. Hey, what's up, y'all? Yeah. 
So I just got done switching the wheels, man. And as you can see, man, these wheels make a big difference in this car. Those are 20s. These are 14s, man. This is a low rider right here. This one right here got switches. I got front back, side to side on them. That one right there, that one has airbags. That one right there, I got uh, single corners, meaning I got left, right, back, left, back, right. Individual, and this one's got them together. But check this out, man. Doesn't even look like the same car. Wheels make a lot of difference, man. Those are the wheels, the OGs. Uh, of course, they don't got the hope caps right now because they're off the car. But, man. Let me know what you think, man. Um, I got a 61 wagon I'm going to be working on. Uh, I got to bring it over here. I just moved to a new place. Uh, once I bring it over, we're going to start doing uh, more videos on uh, the restoration process for that car. I like working on my cars, so pretty sure we're going to have a lot of videos. So let me know what you think, man. Uh, let me know if you need to know anything about the cars. Uh, like I said, that's a 75 Impala, also known as a glass house. Uh, dunk, this one, even though it's a low rider, it's also a dunk. Uh, a lot of people got uh, the concept that uh, dunks are only cars on big wheels. That's not true, man. 71 to 76 uh 71 to 76 uh chevys those are considered donks so if you see a car with big wheels that's not a donk man this is a straight low rider but you can also call it a donk all right man so let me know what you think uh let me know what videos y'all would like to see and uh man let me get ready because we're gonna go heat up this uh toy drive right now